Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, I want to talk about how many laptops or in general how many computers I have used so far. Now, I have been using computers for a, a while now and I have used a lot of them. And for many purposes, right from the simple web development, editing simple HTML pages, to some really comprehensive things like installing virtual machines, network simulators, uh, doing some pen testing stuff and a whole lot more. And how can we forget about uh, Xcode and Android emulators like Android Studio and everything. So I have done a pretty good job uh, with the computers and laptops. So I'll tell you exactly what model of laptops I have used so far, what are my complaints, what are my issues and everything that you really want to know. I received a very interesting email asking me this question that hey Tesh, uh, you have been uh, really good in programming and doing a lot of jobs right from the pen testing to web dev and Android Studio Xcode a whole lot so how many computers you have used so far in life and can you make a video on that so yes I found that topic really interesting so I'm making a video on that in this entire video trust me this is going to be a little longer video I'll walk you through what I have used, what was my first computer look like and how many computers I have used so far and they are, there is a long list here. So let's get started with the first one. The very first computer that I got was a desktop. Uh, it was not a very powerful machine and in fact I didn't learn much on it because that was my very first computer. I played a lot of games on it, especially the basketball. Uh, the, I was a big fan of NBA basketball, I played a lot on it. It was not a high-end machine, uh, just like 1 gigs uh, of RAM and I had a graphic card as well at that time. I, I collected a lot of money for that because I wanted that graphic card and uh, it was, I think, it was dual core or core to dual processor, I don't remember exactly and that was my very first machine. I learned how I can play music, how I can watch movies on it and how I can play games on it and that's all about it. Now, where is that machine right now? I actually donated that machine to one of the construction workers that came to my house. He, he told me his story that how he has studied hard and now he's leaving the construction life and now he's a teacher in a government school in his area, uh, in a small village there. So I got really impressed and uh, apart from paying him uh, for his wages for the construction work, I gifted him a desktop. I told him that hey, it's not a very high-end machine but at least good for getting started. I got started with that machine so uh, you can use that. Uh, he was really happy having that machine so that machine is gone and I cannot show you any photos or anything for that so it's it's gone there now so that was my very first machine completely happy even though it was just a dual core or core to dual processor with one gigs of RAM now our phones have more RAM of, uh, than that uh, desktop uh, but it was really amazing machine I learned a lot especially playing the music and watching movies was always fun uh, on that machine and of course uh, it's kind of a nostalgia with that machine I still sometimes uh, visit to that village and uh, see my desktop still uh, doing some good work helping people to learn something about computers and that box that is what makes me happy my second machine was a Dell branded laptop uh, I think the name of the laptop was Dell Studio 15 or something uh, the particular set or the particular specification with that name is now discontinued it's it's not there makes me feel a little bit old but uh, that was my second computer uh, rather laptop it was a pretty decent machine I think it was with two gigs of RAM or I think four gigs of RAM don't remember exactly uh, not a very again high specific but it was again having a graphic card I played a lot of games on it and especially the era of Call of Duty and everything but that was my first laptop when I actually started to learn about computing and everything and uh, one of that thing was pen testing. So I got involved in pen testing and learning Linux uh, over that laptop. That laptop was overly overly used and I faced a lot of heating issues with that. Now was it a problem of the Dell? I would say no because that machine was designed to be running a Windows on it but since I was learning pen testing. I did install a lot of operating system on it and that included a Backtrack version 3 I guess or version 2. Again makes me feel old because the Backtrack operating system is now discontinued and you don't see it anywhere on the internet. Uh, the successor you probably know that as a Kali Linux uh, but yes I I'm that old and I used to have Backtrack version 3 or maybe 2. So that was the very first operating system that I installed on my Dell. Uh, 
few initial days I worked on the windows, learned about the web application penetration testing and a lot of that. In the meantime, I learned about virtualization and installing a lot of virtual machine on that. As I was moving into the pen testing domain, I also learned about the Linux, uh, a lot about the Red Hat specific things and Ubuntu specific thing. So I did install a lot of Red Hat machine, Fedora machines on, on the laptop. It was getting formatted almost every single week. Uh, almost all of my Sundays were going on for installing and reinstalling the stuff, finding out the package, looking up for the solution for somehow I can run my Wi-Fi card or the sound card or just like that. So that machine did took a lot and by lot I mean yes it took a lot of heavyweight dramas there. And eventually what it does uh, since I was installing Ubuntu and all those machines, uh, the hardware was not that much compatible and it gave me a lot of heating issues. So much of the heating issues that some of the components uh, got fried due to extra heat and it, it got in a really bad condition. Even I worked in, on it so much uh, that the mouse trackpad, the color of that was, was totally gone from there. And uh, still the machine is still working. Uh, I gifted it to one of my close friends and he still uses it. He doesn't use it as a heavy user. He just put a Windows on that. Uh, but he just uses it for Excel purpose and that's it. He doesn't run it for the over exhaustive things that I have done with that laptop. And finally I left that uh, computer as well. But it was a good machine having a good experience uh, with Linux and Windows back and forth. Sometimes dual boot, sometimes three boots. That machine was not meant to be. But really it was a good experience with Dell 15. The only complaint is why so much of the heat? It, it, it was such a nightmare to have that kind of heat uh, with such a good brand of laptop. My third machine that I used and I still have got it is my HP laptop. I still have this laptop here with me and it's working fine. It's having an Intel Core i3 with AMD graphic card. I believe it's uh, 1 gigs of graphic card and I upgraded its RAM to 8 gigs uh, because I don't like the slow computers. 8 gigs of RAM and 1 gigs of graphic card. I think a hard disk is around 500 GBs or something, doesn't really care for that. So this is my third machine. Now by the time I bought this machine, I have actually given a lot of seminars and workshops using this machine. Uh, but later on I got evolved uh, and uh, got involved in a lot of situations where I was installing an entire cloud stack on this machine, doing a lot of NS3 work, the network simulator. And uh, this machine was not meant to take in that kind of uh, situation like installing like 3-4 virtual machine, running them all the same time. This, this was not meant for it. The only issues that I faced with this laptop particular, I don't know what brand it is, it's just HP, I don't remember the exact model number or something. Uh, the only issue that I got is its heating issues. Being such a new laptop from uh, within a week or so, it was giving me so much of the heating issues. I did got to the HP center, did try to check it out and they said uh, it's just like that. The fan rotating speed is quite enormous. Probably I'm editing a lot of videos on it. That's why it's doing it. I have really no idea why it's making so much of the heat. I was using uh, Adobe Premiere Pro for editing a few of my videos but again uh, it was so much of the fan rotating speed. Uh, I didn't like it that much so I don't recommend this laptop to anybody. Uh, but still, it's a decent machine for an average user who just write uh, web-based codes and everything like that. But again, uh, the fan noise is such a, such a crazy thing. It can drive you nuts any single time. So that's my third machine that I used. Now in the meantime, when I was using this machine, I, I thought that, hey, let's give it a shot in iOS development and everything. So I bought my very first Mac Mini. So this is my very first Mac Mini that I bought and it's a really decent machine with such a price point of the range uh, apple is giving you such a huge thing inside the small pack machine you can do all kind of ios development on this machine uh, decent it was like having four gigs of ram and uh, pretty decent stuff like that on an average not very high end but good enough to get started in ios development and once you get started in ios development or your app uh, gets a little bit high or you start working as an independent contractor. It's a lot of money So this machine can make a lot of money uh, because iOS development. Yes, it makes a lot of money And I won't lie on that compared to Android Android is for hitting the mass audience Because most of the paying audience is inside the Apple domain and most of the free users are in the Android domain Consider me it wrong here, but this is my experience that I face that Apple users don't think much they just buy it like that and Android users try to think a lot and they buy less compared to the Apple user. 
call me wrong here but this is my personal experience that I have faced. Now this machine was quite good but in the meantime my brother said that hey uh, I want to get started in Apple and I want to change my machine to Apple uh, what do you suggest? I said uh, you can take this machine and I'm, I'm gonna buy a new Mac mini. I wanted the high-end version with the fusion drive 8 gigs of RAM and everything so uh, this I hope you can see this is now saying uh, web development here and uh, we just moved it like that so this machine is now being used for web development I bought another Mac mini for rest of my work I did spend a lot of time with that I loved absolutely loved the interface performing issues and everything I was making videos like a beast I was doing a lot of Xcode project like a beast every single day and got no complaint at all no hitting issues uh, no crashes uh, it just handles everything nicely and smoothly but eventually I realized that I have to travel and take boot camps as well so I need a machine uh, that can run Xcode as well as I can do all the stuff just like reliably I was doing with this and that brings up my next computer so this is my next computer uh, I bought a MacBook Pro and it comes with all the ports that you see and this is a little bit rare to find nowadays uh, but yes this is this was my next machine I almost gave a lot of boot camps on this machine and I absolutely loved it compared to now the performance of this machine is not what I'm used to now because it's a little bit slower machine I cannot edit videos like in Final Cut Pro and everything that I'm used to do now uh, but still this machine still can take a lot that I'm giving to it and I'm satisfied with this machine this is a MacBook Pro I think uh, late 2015 or something like that but still I love this machine and I think this is gonna last uh, I think a couple of more years uh, before I give it to somebody so still uh, this is one of my favorite machine and this is my first MacBook that I always wanted to get so I love this machine now in the meantime uh, I got a need of another machine which can perform decently well and uh, so there were some interns that came around for writing blogs and everything for one of the clients so I did bought uh, this machine this is a Lenovo machine that I bought this is not a powerful machine uh, this is how it looks like and I think this has got really low things it's got Intel uh, Pentium processor which is really really old and I think it has got uh, uh, 4 gigs or 8 gigs of RAM didn't use this machine uh, a lot it's just having uh, running an Ubuntu now and uh, just some Word documents and everything are being edited on it uh, nothing much extraordinary is being done but this machine is just lying around sometimes my dad loves to watch movies or just uh, likes to buffer on YouTube just like that so this is still a machine uh, in my home don't like to use it much but it's still there now almost a year back uh, I bought this beast that you can see here uh, this is the top grade version of iMac the bigger one and I absolutely love this beast uh, this beast uh, just in the last uh, 30 days or so it has produced almost more than 100 videos uh, to be precise I think more than 130 videos and processing that kind of videos does require a really great machine also apart from that it has handled Android Studio nicely it has handled Xcode simultaneously Atom and a lot of other IDEs as well this is one of a beast machine mine is installed with 32 gigs of RAM uh, fusion drive of 2 terabytes and uh, a decent graphic card as well have faced no issues at all this is kind of a machine that I love the only problem that I faced with this machine is in making the videos because that resolution of this screen is 5k YouTube does support 4k and other platforms also so I cannot make videos on this so I had to buy this smaller machine here as well I hope you can see that uh, that's the machine is HD so I record all of my that's my recording area and I drag and drop everything there and record there so that's my uh, beast machine and recently I bought another one so recently uh, almost a couple of days ago I bought this one this is a very sleeky sleeky laptop uh, I don't really care what kind of model it is it's a Lenovo machine and if I can see it's uh, IdeaPad 310 now this is not a paid promotion for anybody so recently I bought another machine which is this one this is a Lenovo this is the latest one I have bought it like uh, two or three days ago or maybe a week I don't remember exactly the day or date it's a Lenovo idea idea pad 310 now this is not a paid promotion by anybody like Lenovo or Mac or Apple or just like that I'm just sharing what machines I have used so far and what I love about them what I don't love about them 
So this is an IdeaPad 310. I don't really care if it's a Lenovo machine, Asus. I just asked him that, hey, I need two, gig two gigs of uh, graphic card, eight gigs of RAM, uh, almost 500 gigs of uh, hard disk there and i5 7 gen processor because I was more interested in what's inside this stuff uh, rather than what kind of branding they are covering up so I don't really care what this is having uh, but the really good thing that I liked about it let me first place it back now I like this machine I haven't used it much but this is really a beast uh, it can handle Android Studio a lot of virtual machines on its own uh, not having any heating issues or anything like that still I haven't tested it much uh, but yes, it's a decent machine for running a Windows and all of that. I'm running a latest version of Windows 10 on it. Uh, I don't use it much, uh, but yes, it's a decent machine. So I know this is a long, long, long video, but these are just a few overview of the computers and machine that I've used so far. Still, there is a lot more to discuss and a lot more to talk about. But I think uh, let's give it a break here and uh, I'll surely catch you up in the next video. In case you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you do hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon because we go Sunday live here. Every single Sunday we go Sunday live and there is no such fixed time uh, that I go on the live. So best possible way is to hit that bell icon and can get notification every single time that I get live or upload a video. That's a good way of getting started. Again, don't forget to hit the like button on this video and if you like the content in here, do hit the subscribe button.